She want the finest. Yeah. She want the finest clothes. She want the finest cars. She wanna pull up with the cameras on her like a model. Yeah. She want the finest stuff. The finest stuff. She want the finest stuff. What is up you beautiful faces and welcome back to the channel. I'm Jamila Ariel. If you are new, welcome and if you are old, welcome back. Now in today's video, I will be doing a kind of try on video of all the shoes that I have in my closet. So it's kind of like a collection video of like my shoes, sneakers, heels, sandals, a few boots, a few flats. So I'm going to be trying those on in this video and some of these shoes are kind of old. Like I know some of my flats are old. Um, my boots, I have like two pair of boots that are like kind of old. And I have, I've had some of my sandals for a while, but I do like kind of keep them looking decent. So yeah, let's get right into the video. Okay, and first on the list we have my Concord 11s and I would say these are like my favorite shoes. I need to clean them because the shoelaces are a little dirty, but these are one of my favorite sneakers. Next on the list are my low top Air Jordan 1s. I just bought these like I think last week and they were $75 at Champ Sport. And I think these are really cute. Most people don't get the low tops, but I really thought these were kind of cute. And like some people get sneakers for the trend. I get sneakers that I actually like. Like if the sneakers I like are trendy, I'll still get them. But I really thought these were kind of cute because they're like the low tops and everybody gets the high tops. I did get a pair of high tops too. So you guys will see those later on in this video. Okay, and these are my Jordan 12 Light Aquas and I've had these for over a year. I've actually had these since like the beginning of my senior year. They definitely need to be cleaned. I definitely need to wash my shoelaces, but there's still some cute shoes. Okay, and these are the Puma RSX. And I think that stands for like running, running shoes, running system, something, I don't know. But they are the Puma RXX and they are very comfortable. The inside is very comfortable. And they are very cute on the outside. On some people's feet, they do look kind of bulky. But I think they look kind of cute in my opinion. And the bottom of the shoe is really cute too. Okay, and these are my Nike Air Force One Just Do It. That's what it's called. That's what they named it. Because as you can see, it has Just Do It everywhere. Just Do It on the tongue of the shoe, on the little Nike swoosh. It has Just Do It on the sides of the shoe. It has Just Do It on the shoestrings and even on the, um, I think it's called the aglet of the shoelace. It has Just Do It. And these shoes are very creative. And that's why I wanted to buy them because they were just so creative. Like, I had just do it everywhere. And it was just a really cute shoe. Like, it literally has just do it everywhere. Like, even on the back of the shoe. I don't even know if it's on the bottom of the shoe or the inside of the shoe. I totally forgot. But I just know it's all over the outside of the shoe. And it's really cute and really creative and really cool and unique. And that's what I love about sneakers. Because, like, not all sneakers are the same. Like there are different, different styles, different brands, and just different styles of creativity with different types of sneakers. And this is just so cute to me. Next on the list are my Vapor Max. Now I do use these for exercise. That's what they're meant for. They're meant for running. And I do use them to work out in and just as some like comfortable everyday shoes because they are very comfortable and very adorable. I think these shoes are so cute but they kind of expensive in my opinion they kind of expensive but you didn't hear that from me like they just they're overpriced but they're comfortable shoes but they just overpriced okay next on the list are my high top air jordan ones i think they're called the dynamic yellow black and white or something like that and i got these from champs i had to order them in store because they didn't have my size but they are some really 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 cute shoes very unique i've barely seen people wear these and um 
I got these for a hundred dollars and they were in like girls grade school size so they were very good price the only thing that I kind of don't like about them is the shoelaces like they could have put regular white shoelaces because the shoelaces that they put with these they're kind of like not childish but I don't know they just don't feel right with the shoe in my opinion like the shoe is perfectly fine it's cute but I feel like some regular white laces would have really done these shoes some justice because the yellow and white shoelaces just remind me of like little kitty shoes I don't know but I might buy some regular white laces and see how they look with these shoes or I could just like take the laces from the other shoes and see how they look I don't know next are my very dingy vans we're just gonna fly right through these okay next are my other vans now these aren't as dingy as the other ones but they still a little dingy but um i gotta clean these vans get dirty so easy like oh my god like jesus like i gotta wash the laces oh my god like i haven't worn these in a while so that's why they're like i haven't to be honest i haven't worn sneakers in general in a while i've been wearing sandals and my chacos like every day because like what's the point in putting on sneakers when you're just staying in the house you know Okay, y'all, so out of all my heels, these are my favorite heels. I've worn these to graduation. I've worn these a million times because I love these shoes. And y'all, please don't mind my toes. I'm trying to be a nail salon, a nail tech person because um, I don't want to go to the nail salon just yet. So I'm trying to do my best with my pedicure. So please don't talk about me, okay? But I love these heels so much. They're just so cute. I love the little rhinestones on the back. That is just like the best part ever. Um, I can barely walk in heels, but I try my best. I really do try my best. These come off in about like two hours of wearing them. So like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're they're comfortable though. But like me and heels just um have a complicated relationship okay and these shoes i think i got out of the mall in huntsville um i don't remember what the store was called but shoes like these are also on fashion nova but i probably got these for cheaper in the store that i got them in than they were on fashion nova so in store it's not always that bad okay and these are just some regular heels that you could wear to church um I do wear these to church when we, when church was open. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. But um, these are really comfortable shoes. And um, I would get them higher. But as I told you guys earlier, I am not that great in walking in heels. Um, yeah. Okay, and these shoes right here I've had ever since my 11th grade year of high school. I bought them from Versona for my um winter formal dance and um i've had them ever since these are actually really comfortable shoes but i really don't shop at versona anymore you know i only shop there when i wasn't the one paying but now that i'm older i'm kind of like persona ain't really all that i mean they re they do have some cute shoes and these are some cute and comfortable shoes but i just can't see myself shopping at versona now unless it's for shoes like their clothes and stuff i really don't like their clothes like that so if i ever go to versona it would probably be for their shoes okay now these shoes right here i wore these to prom but you probably couldn't see them because of my dress but i took them off um I'm really not a skinny heel type of person because I am thick and thick girls and the skinny heels kind of don't go together, but they can, they can. But I'm just saying that for me, skinny heels sometimes can, you know, make a girl kind of stumble a little bit, but you know, they're straight if you don't wear them all day. Like I can't wear heels all day, but these, these are pretty straight, you know, I like the front design okay now these are kind of similar to the last ones except in some way these give a little bit more support um 
they they do look the same but i think it has more strap around it so that's what makes it more reliable and more comfortable to wear and it gives you more support so i don't remember where i got these from but i know they weren't expensive Okay, now when it comes to me and shoes, I like to get shoes I can put with just about anything and shoes that are comfortable. With these shoes, you can wear to church, you can wear to brunch or wherever you're going. They're very simple and they're really comfortable. Like you could practically run in these, like they're super duper comfortable. I wear these whenever I go to church or whenever church was open. Um, they can go with pants, a skirt, a dress. They're very easy to put with anything and they're some very small heels so they're not uncomfortable and they're very easy and simple to walk in like this is coming from a person that really can't walk in heels these are very good heels and also y'all heels like these i will highly recommend for people that are like me and cannot walk in heels that great these heels give you much support because they are thicker heels and they are like what do they call them wedges a lot of people don't like wedges, but these are kind of cute. You could put these with pants or a dress or a skirt. I think these are really cute. I had some brown ones, but I left them in my friend's car after baccalaureate. And I really don't care for them anymore. So I'll probably buy some more later. But these are really comfortable shoes, in my opinion. And they're really cute. You could put these with some black bottoms and a cute top. And you could wear these wherever, to be honest. And these are just some basic maroon heels i've had these for a little while i really don't wear them for real because i don't have well i do have maroon stuff but i really don't wear it so they're just some heels that i have just in case i have something maroon or something that i want to put with these heels okay and these heels can go with just about everything because they are black heels they're a solid color and I like these heels a lot because they have a chunky heel and it's easier to walk in them than it is with a skinnier heel. And it makes the shoes very comfortable and easy to wear. And that is why I love chunky heels and wedges, but I also do love skinny heels. I just don't like what they do to my feet. They are very cute, but I preferably can't wear them and I typically can't walk in them for real. So this is why I kind of lean over to the chunky heel side more because they're easier to walk in super duper comfortable okay guys and these are my hot pink tims i got these i think last year um at sports edition by habit sports and these are very convenient during the cold weather and they're very cute i wanted them in the pink so i got them in pink but i should have got some regular color tims too because the hot pink don't go with everything so I'll probably get some regular Tims during the winter because these hot pink don't go with everything. So you gotta find something black to put on with it so you won't look like a fool. Okay, and these are like some low top Sperry rain boots. I call them rain boots because I wear them when it rains and my feet don't get wet so i mean they are low top but they can be rain boots as well or you can wear them during the winter or fall when it's cold out so it's it's convenient for both it's convenient for the winter and and rain weather i got these a while ago so i really don't remember where i got them from but it's probably journeys or dealers but either or they weren't expensive shoes because berries well i don't know I haven't bought a pair of like actual Sperry's in a while. Okay, and these are just some little booties. I mainly wear these in the fall more than the winter because it's kind of fashionable during the fall and it's not as cold in the fall as it is in the winter. Okay, and these are just some see-through rain boots. I think I got these at Shoe Station or Shoe Carnival. It's one of those two. Okay, and these are some Steve Madden combat boots. Um, a lot of people say combat boots have gone out of style, but I don't think so. It all depends on what you put it on with. I mean, in my opinion, you could easily put something cute on with some combat boots and call it a day during the fall or the winter. I don't think they've gone out of style. It just depends on what they look like. 
Okay, and these are what they call quote unquote horse riding boots, but my cousin in law got these for me, I think last year for Christmas. Okay, and these are literally my favorite sandals. I wear these almost every day. They're called Chacos, and I wanted the one with the little um, string around the toe. I might get those um, probably next week, I don't know. But these are really cute and they're very comfortable. They have a strap. I usually wear it with the strap untied because like I just slide my feet in them. But they're very cute, very comfortable, very convenient. Okay, and these are just some little slots that I got from Rainbow. They were literally like $10. So Rainbow has a lot of cute sandals. Okay, and I don't remember where I got these from. I just know that I barely wear them, but they're actually really cute. But I just don't ever have anything that I think will go with them. But I might just put something together with them. They're kind of cute. These sandals I got from Kato. They do have a small heel on them. I really don't consider them heels because they really don't feel like heels. They're just sandals with a tiny heel on them. They're not really heels. So they do have a nice little strap on them. These sandals could basically go with just about anything. I have an outfit that I bought with them and it has palms on it as well. These sandals I got from Burlington and they were under $10. Burlington has a lot of nice shoes if you just look. These also came from Burlington and they were also $10 as well. Um, I like the little flowers on them. Some people probably say they probably be childish, but I think they're kind of cute. Okay y'all, so I get majority of my sandals from Burlington or Rainbow. And these sandals right here, they came from Burlington or Rainbow. I'm not really certain where they came from because I got these a while ago and I barely wear them. These sandals came from Burlington and I think they were like five or six dollars. Like Burlington has all sorts of sandals and different types of shoes. Now these sandals are a tad bit beat up but that's okay because I've worn them a lot. I got them from Rainbow and they were $10 or under. I cannot recall a time when I've gotten shoes from Rainbow that were like over $10, so that's a good thing. Okay, and last under sandals, I have my Crocs. I really don't consider Crocs sandals. I consider Crocs Crocs, but since they can't be put under any other category, I'm just gonna put them under my sandals category. Okay, and I got these flats from Charlotte Russe. I really don't shop at Charlotte Russe anymore because Montgomery doesn't have a Charlotte Russe anymore. I got these flats from Rainbow, and again, they were $10 or under. So like I've been saying, y'all, shop at Rainbow because they have some good stuff for the low. Like I've been saying, y'all, I love creative shoes. These were more on the expensive side. I got these from Dillard's. I don't remember how much they were, but I love some creative shoes. So I wouldn't say these are like snakeskin, but I would say they're like something different. I don't know. But they aren't the same as the other ones. They're kind of, I don't know how to explain it, but they're different and I like them. And I like the pattern that they have on them. and They're just really cute to me. And these flats I got from Kato. I've had them for a good two years, so they're kind of old, but I try to take care of them as best as I can. Okay, and these flats I got last year from Charlotte Roos. I really don't shop for flats anymore, so all the flats that I have are kind of like old because I really don't wear flats for real, but I've had these for a good year. And I really haven't shopped in Charlotte Rose anymore for real because we don't have one. So all the nice flats and stuff that they have, I'll have to probably look online.
Okay, and these are some Coach loafers that I got from Dillard's a while back, probably like a year or so. And like I said, y'all, most of my flats are kind of old because I haven't went flat shopping in like a year. But these flats I got from Kato's, I think probably like a year or two ago. Okay, y'all, and I got kind of tired, so I didn't put both shoes on, but I got these shoes from Dillard's Clearance. Montgomery has a Dillard's Clearance, and it has a lot of stuff marked down, so I got these for probably like $20, and at the time, they were cute, but now that I'm looking at them, I really don't like them for real. They look like ballerina shoes, but I mean, there's still some flats. I still have to go flat shopping because I haven't went flat shopping in like a year or so, y'all. I really hope you guys like this video. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment which pair of shoes was your favorite shoes or comment some shoes that you guys like. Like, like comment, I don't know, comment some shoes y'all think that I should know about, like some shoes that I don't know about. Like maybe some sneakers or DM me some cute shoes or something or comment which shoes you liked. But you guys, that is the end of this video and i will see you guys in the next video i love each and every one of you guys and i'll see you guys later